Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for hanging with me on this Thursday. Now, blade combinations on spinnerbaits go with water temperature and times of year. So if you are early on in the year when the water is cooler than 60 degrees, I like a single Colorado, between 60 and 70, tandem Colorado, and warmer than 70, tandem willow leaves. Now, there are a few exceptions. There's a few types of cover and structure where you do need to change those blades even though those blade combinations do really go well with the seasons. Like if you have water that's cooler than 60 degrees, you're most likely in the pre-spawn, bass are tucked down to the bottom, feeding through their lateral line. So that single Colorado, the easiest spinnerbait to slow roll near the bottom, also gives off plenty of thump, perfect. If you have water that's warmer than 70, you're typically in the post-spawn or the bass are you know feeding on the shad spawn. They're not necessarily feeding through their lateral line as much anymore, and it's all about sight and realistic spinner baits catch the most fish. Same thing goes for the fall when you still have warmer water. Those shad are everywhere. You're covering water. You need a bait that's going to be realistic. Again, they're not feeding so much to their lateral line. They're sight feeding. They're getting a really good look at their bait before they're eating it. They're keyed in on those little shad, and the tandem willow leaf just catches more fish. So I'm going to give you some specific instances depending on cover and structure that I just personally think it's a lot easier to fish that way. So first, guys, I want to thank you for liking these videos, subscribing to my channel. That helps me out a lot. And if you left me a comment, I will return your comment. Thank you for doing that. All right. So anytime I'm fishing around wood, which again, this is going to fit the season and the time. But if I'm fishing specific targets like dock posts where I need to put my spinnerbait right next to that dock post or I'm fishing a lay down, I want to hug that spinnerbait right over the top of a branch. I like a single Colorado. Single Colorado for me, short cast. It's the easiest spinnerbait to make short little pitches. A lot of times I'm doing underhand cast. So it's basically the same motion that I'm using to flip a jig. And it's the same type of cover I'm using for flipping because really the only thing that has changed was the is the conditions. You know, it might have got cloudy or it, you know, pushing the fish to roam, or it's too windy to feel my jig on the bottom. So now I'm just moving a spinnerbait around in those same type places. The only difference between a jig and, you know, and that single Colorado spinnerbait is a little bit of thump, so I can feel that bait a little bit better. But I'm fishing those in the same situations. Now, the where I really like the double Colorado is where I need to keep that bait in a really specific spot. Maybe it's up in the water column. You know, maybe there's fish spawning. I need to keep it above their head. Or maybe I'm fishing rocks on a highland reservoir and it's just hard for me to feel the rocks. You know, a single Colorado, I'm bringing it down the side of that steep bank and I may be hanging the rocks if I can't feel my spinnerbait. Two Colorado blades, I can feel it better. And if I'm really creeping it along the bottom, I can just keep it above those rocks while still making contact. So any water temp, and I'm fishing highland reservoir, I like double blades and typically it's gonna be Colorado's. I really need to feel that. Now, the willow leaves come in for me in a couple different situations. The grass being one of them, because most of the time, this time of year especially, I'm covering a lot of water and I need to be moving that bait fast. Willow leaves are the, are the blades rather that you can fish the fastest. Also, if your bait is bogging down in the grass, there's less pull from those willies. So if you need to just pop your bait up, you can snatch that spinnerbait out of the grass and it will come out of the grass. Those Colorados, there's so much pull with those blades that you go to try to snatch them up and you're not jerking it out of the grass fast enough. So it's just kind of staying in the grass. Same thing goes for brush piles. If you're out in eight feet of water and you're hitting a brush pile, willow leaves for me are the only way to go about that. Throw it out there. And if you feel some twigs or you're, you know, you're feeling something, you can just pop it out before it hangs. Those Colorados, you go to, to jerk them, pop them, they're not going to dart out of there like willow leaves. So there's just too much resistance with the Colorados. But those situations for me, it just seems like grass, it's a, it's a double, double blades. I need a little more feel. I need a little more pull. I want to keep that bait up. The single Colorado just doesn't do that. Now, the grass is very particular on time of year for me with a spinnerbait. It seems like unless you're in the post spawn, shatter spawning, the, the spinnerbait doesn't, doesn't tend to play. And the same thing in the fall, unless you have bass that are keying in on balls of bait, the spinnerbait just doesn't play. So spinnerbait in the grass for me is all about the post spawn 
or the spawn right around that same window. And that's typically right at the end of 60 to 70 degrees. You know, it's moving high 60s, low 70s or in the fall when you have relatively same water temperature it's just cooling off but you're going to have balls of bait same type of thing but if you're in the pre-spawn in the grass a chatter bait a crankbait a lipless crankbait or a swim jig have always produced better results for me early on in the year with saying that i think it is important to take that with a grain of salt because some lakes are just spinnerbait heavy some lakes bass just love spinnerbaits and there's no way around that but from what i've seen in the grass. That is, uh, is the way it goes. So try that guys. Good luck to you and I'll see you on the water.